66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated with you morning and happy saturday welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here hello and welcome my name is crystal and i am so excited as always to have you all here for today's video so today we're going to do a fall clean and decorate with me part two i could not wait to get this up for you guys i had so much fun filming this and then i also share how to make a pumpkin spice latte at home so be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end for that and yeah let's go ahead and just hop right into some cleaning and decorating me to heaven i just want to make you repeat it and repeat it again yeah you make the sky so blue so here we're starting off with the mud bench and i think this is what i was mostly excited about in our previous home we didn't have one and so whenever we moved in i was like i am going to have that decorated all the time for every single holiday every season and i think i've only decorated it for christmas and then aside from the regular decor so i was super excited to get it decorated for fall and i absolutely love the turnout and we're just going to go ahead wipe all the dust off and give it a good wipe down so we can go ahead and set our decor out Just do what we wanna do clean and decorate with me i used a lot of the stuff that i had the previous year and i wasn't going to pick up some extra stuff however i went to hobby lobby and that completely changed everything so i did pick up a few new items this year from hobby lobby target and bath and body works this little autumn leaves and pumpkins please is from target and i believe i got that from their little like dollar section whenever you first enter and then these little acorns I grabbed from Hobby Lobby and this little lantern I love to just decorate whenever it's like Christmas I like to throw some ornaments in here so I thought it would be really cute to throw some acorns and pine cones in here I did pick up this cute little fall wreath from Hobby Lobby and if you've been on my channel for quite some time then you know that I like anything that has like gold accents. I love anything with some shimmer and glam so I thought this was just perfect and I thought it would go so well here on the mud bench and I may be a little dramatic but I am obsessed with how it came out. Let me know what you guys think down below. This or, this or. 
sore that Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night A drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that So these little tan pillows they're actually from the couch it came with the set but i just i'm not a big fan of like the blue in the living room i've been on the hunt for some really nice cute pillows however i am super picky when it comes to pillows so i haven't found like the ones just yet so what i do is i kind of just flip them over and use them here for the mud bench and this cute little orange blessed pillow is from hobby lobby I saw these like goldish champagne-ish leave mats and I just I had to get them I love little accents like that on the table so I'm just going to quickly swap those out it doesn't matter what we do ain't nobody like ain't nobody like you look so beautiful and I'm so lucky to be yours and you take it I was really excited for this part as well so I had mentioned last week that I wasn't 100% sure on the orange pumpkin that I have there on the bookshelf and look at this pumpkin you guys again I love anything that is white and gold you can see all of that here on the bookshelf and I found this pumpkin and I just thought this is just too perfect so I grabbed it swapped out the orange one and I just love how it came out let me know if you like the orange one better going to quickly get some dishes out of the way anytime that I'm cleaning or wipe my countertops down I really don't like to have any dishes in the sink so we're just going to quickly get those washed hey you're good at making me lose my mind but I always come around don't I Make you smile, don't I?
I'm just going to wipe down the countertops with my Mrs. Meyers multi surface cleaning spray in the apple cider scent. So another little mini obsession that I have is I am obsessed with coffee mugs and I saw quite a few that I just couldn't pass up and I grabbed this morning pumpkin from Hobby Lobby it was just so stinking cute and I thought it was just I don't know perfect because I actually greet my family with morning pumpkin so I just thought this was just too perfect and then in here it's just a spice I was pretty confused I was like what else did I get that's in this shape or why is it wrapped but it was just some pumpkin pie spice and then this next coffee mug I just thought was really perfect. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I will be sharing with you guys how I make my pumpkin spice latte at home. And this cup just was just specifically for that. It was perfect. And then my next cup I actually grabbed from Target. I posted it to my story. I couldn't pass it up. It just says that I run on coffee and country music and that just had my name written all over it. So these are just some cute mugs that I wanted to add to my little collection. So one of my lovely subscribers had recommended that I try the candle in the scent leaves and I went to Bath & Body Works, smelled it, and fell in love with it. So thank you, Gabrielle, for that. I also picked up this super cute little candle holder that I just couldn't pass up. And then the other candle that I got, I believe, was in the white pumpkin scent. And that is the one that I'll use here for the kitchen.
mentioned i'm really picky when it comes to pillows like sometimes i just think the material doesn't go with like the couches and so i've been struggling to find some cute pillows but i plan on going to at home and i feel like i'll just hit the jackpot there but for now i'm going to be using these pillows from last year and i like i said i plan on getting like some maybe some orangey reddish pillows to kind of bring some color onto the couches to quickly vacuum the house i had seen like a lot of like dirt dog hair and then you see whenever i show you on the filter i know it doesn't look full but if you just like look at that little stack how much like dirt and dog hair it is it's a lot so anyways i'm just going to vacuum the house and then i'm going to pull out my steam mop to get the floors nice and clean
Filling up as firefighters You got me dancing in your store Or I'm looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire oh, Looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire oh, Looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire The last time that I grabbed a little kitchen mat to go in front of the sink, Stitch actually like tore everything up. He was a puppy at the time and he kind of just chewed it all up. But then I found this one and I was like, he's more mature now. So I grabbed it and just thought it went perfect with the space. And then I also picked up these little wallflowers from Bath & Body Works. I have a like pumpkin one from last year, which I loved, but I thought these leaves were just as cute. So I went ahead and grabbed two, I believe one for the entryway, one for the living room. And then I'll probably most likely use the pumpkins in the restroom again. So here are the ingredients that you will need to create your pumpkin spice latte at home. The only ingredient that I didn't use and I feel is kind of optional is maple syrup. But I just take two cups of milk and I use almond milk by the way. I take two cups of almond milk and pour that into a pot and I set the flame on like a low setting. I know some people have an espresso machine but I feel like majority of us don't. I don't have one. So what I like to do is I like to brew a strong coffee with my Keurig and you can even do this with instant coffee. And then you'll take your pure pumpkin and add that to your milk. I took like two small spoonfuls and you just get that all mixed in. And then you'll also go in with some vanilla extract. I use one of these spoons. I am horrible with measurements and kind of eyeball everything, but I just take one spoon of that. And then I also sprinkle some nutmeg in here. And then I'll also follow along with some pumpkin pie spice, just to give those warm pumpkin spice flavors. And you'll just give all of that a good mix. I'm so falling for you. Forget what I said, come on over. This is optional, however, I like my drinks really sweet, so I just added like a tablespoon of sugar, and then I also brought in my cup of coffee and threw that in there and just gave everything a good mix. I know you wanna find another reason. And you 
guys know that I love some coffee with my creamer. So here I'm just going to add some creamer just to give it a really good sweet taste. And then I'm just going to pour that into my mug. You can also froth some milk and just pour that over the top. However, I'm taking some pumpkin pie whipped cream and then sprinkling a little bit of pumpkin pie spice over it. And it is super delicious and it's just perfect for the season. Be sure to let me know if you guys try it. Thank you all so much for being here for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration from it. And until my next video, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!